Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor of the Tenkar's Tavern blog. Why am I linking to Wenger's old school gaming blog? Well, uh, Wenger announced today that uh, he is basically leaving the uh, publishing world of old school gaming. I believe that, well, he'll ex- he explains it pretty well in his blog post, but business hasn't been what it had been. So before we get into that, our business is affiliate links, okay? That's, that's honestly how you support this channel. So right now there is a bundle over at Humble Bundle. It's a Star Trek RPG bundle for the Modifius Star Trek RPG. Um, I, I snagged it because I wanted to get the uh, classic 70s Star Trek cartoon source book. That's my little weakness. I'm a Trekkie. Okay, I'm not one of those Star Wars fanatics. I'm a Trekkie. So, 10 tavern.game slash Star Trek will take you to the Humble Bundle affiliate link. Easy enough. Uh, any purchases you make at Humble Bundle using the link below will uh, certainly help support this channel. So, what do we got here with V? End of an Aeon. And by the way, he calls this a Neo Quasi O5R and Vintage Demon Laser Sleeves. At O5R, I want you to put the app for a little bit and just hold it there. I think it's important to point out. But um, before I even did delve into this, I mean, Wenger and I have a history. It didn't start out great. Um, I think we butted heads pretty well. We met at Gary Khan back in 2016. I actually sat down and had breakfast. And I like V. I don't agree with all of his marketing. Some of it, some of the stuff I think is over the top. That's my opinion, but I like V. So I'm sorry to see him leave the publishing sphere. I always believe in additional voices. This is not a zero sum industry, you know, where Wenger leaving is suddenly going to give more opportunities for others. It's it's not. It's just going to you know give less choices. So. Without further ado, let's look at Wenger's post. I started this wild journey of self-publishing back in 2012 when I, like so many others, discovered there was something lost between a third and fourth editions of D&D. Gazing into our gaming past, we looked back at the wonders of old school D&D and other RPGs, and we found, and what we found is that the old ways were almost always better. As with anything returning to accomplishments of our collective past, revealed opportunities for improvement. New ways of understanding old concepts, fixing problems we didn't even know were problems back then. That's what the old school renaissance means to me. Everybody has a different definition of the OSR, of the old school renaissance. I'm, I'm happy to know Wenger's definition. He goes, and I owe my getting back into the hobby to all the folks who've been creating in that space under that banner. All this to say that I'm shutting down. And now, this is one thing. If you can't pronounce the publishing company, you might have an issue. Uh, Court Thales, maybe publishing. I'll still be in the hobby, just not in the industry. And I don't even know what to say about the community. Well, there's an aspect of the community that is certainly anti banger anti-Tankar, anti-Pundit, uh, anti-Grim Jim, uh, anti-James Raggy. Um, yeah, I'm anti a lot of us. One sec. So, yeah, I can understand him kind of wondering, is he in or is he out? No, I think it depends on who you talk to. But he has his own community. And I think Wenger fails to realize that. 
And we'll, again, I think we'll, we'll tap on that later. Business was good in the beginning, but these last couple of years got hard for Corsalis Publishing to survive as a hobby business. Just to give you an example, before COVID, I was making 700, 800, sometimes over 1,000 a month in dry food sales. I just received this month's check for $217. And it's been like that for a while. My last Kickstarter failed to fund, so I tried again based on an expo. The winning suggestion, a guide to Gonzo for gamers. It will probably make it, but just barely. And I'll include a link to his Kickstarter. Uh, primordial chaos, Gonzo like a fucking boss. Um. Again, that's pure venger. I mean, not something that I would do, right? But that's pure venger. And I, it doesn't, just because it's not something that I would do or I would label something or I would title something doesn't mean it doesn't belong. Even three years ago, I was confident enough to look my wife in the eyes and tell her that big things were going to happen. All the time and energy I poured into writing, designing, self-publishing, and promotion we're going to pay off big time. Well, that never materialized, and I haven't told her anything of the sort in a while. Well, this is a real, you know, coming to terms moment. <clears throat> because I don't believe it myself. Pretty much everything is going in the wrong direction or simply not far enough in the right direction. Except for the amazing time I'm having behind the screen, gaming with friends, GMing child, with Advanced Crimson Dragon Slayer and all the little add-ons, experimental mechanics and optional rules that evolved organically out of original play. So what does this mean? Assuming that the Primordial Chaos book funds, I'm going to finish that, because it's already started and I want to get my discoveries out into the RPG world, because life is short and you never know what will happen. And then stop putting out new material, no more crowdfunding or releasing of any kind. So if somebody wants to buy a child's hardcover, just ask. I still have a basement full of them. Now, that is, I would say, funny, but it is also a reality of the self publishing industry, especially if you decide to do things at a standard print and not print on demand. I will continue to organize and host FengerCon in Madison, Wisconsin. The official dates for 2025 are July 18th, uh, Friday, July 18th through Sunday, July 20th. I'll be waiting on a promotional artwork to come in the first week of September for launching the convention page. Uh, Wenger actually invited me as a special guest. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, only because of timing. Uh, summers are rough for travel for Rach and I. We have two pets, and uh, my, my parents often spend their summers in the Poconos, so it, it kind of makes it rough for travel. We need we need the pet we need the pet watching, uh, and I'm still and I'll still blog and make the occasional video. I'll remain on social media too, but to a lesser degree. So I guess this is a semi-retirement. If after enough time passes, it makes sense for me to return in three, four, seven years, hopefully not more than a decade, I'll be happy to. But now is not the time for me to keep doing what I've been doing, and I'm going to just throw this out there. Maybe V needs a fresh start. Maybe V needs to come back and attack this from a different angle. And I know there are publishers that are very much this is what I'm doing, and that's great. But um, I had a creative writing teacher uh, back in college, and he was like, you know, if you're a writer, you have to write for an audience. Because if you're writing for yourself, it's just mental masturbation. And just do that in the privacy of your own home. Don't do it here. And I'm not saying that's what's going on, but I think V has to find an audience. I think he has an audience, but that audience is, is shrinking whether it's people uh, are dropping out of the hobby or monetary constraints in the modern day. 
right? The, uh, no matter no matter what the official government line is, we all know how uh, how l- less further a dollar goes and how less how few dollars we have. So, just a few just just a few thoughts. If I don't stop now, my supporters will soon see me. God bless them. Sucking dick for one page layout money in the back alley of some rainbow infested game store. I'd rather go out in the after go of accomplishments and then he names all of his works. Sure, I could point a tentacle at our shitty economy. That I'm sure is part of it. The OSR is dying, folks. I think that it's just the angry individuals. Politics, culture war stuff. Now, that can be an issue because V does have some very uh, loud, in-your-face political ideas, which may not, which may or may not have led to online retailers and crowdfunding sites censoring and stealth banning via the almighty algorithm. That is certainly possible. The current necessity of slick marketing campaigns anointed by established approved YouTubers. Mm, that's always been an issue, right? And less so in the OSR. Uh, and, and I gotta say, Wenger has some awesome artists working for him, and uh, I I have always been impressed by the art that he's had. So it look, always looks slick. The shadow darking of our hobby. I don't know what that means. Is it the five eifying of the OSR? Because if it is, and I'm going to swing right back up to the beginning here for a moment. I told you, Neo Quasi O5R. So uh, V has been referring to his work as O5R for a while. Um, I think Shadow Dark, perfect timing. And be honest with you, no political baggage. Kelsey still is apolitical to the point that it, it pisses people off that want her to take a stand. So when you take a political stand, you may gain some followers and gain some customers. You're also going to lose some. So. Just putting that out there. Um, various forces and personalities and groups over inflating RPG popularity to the point where everything is geared towards lowest common denominator tourists. He's talking about people that are coming in from watching these real plays uh, and infused with socialism and soy. You know, okay, watch the skull fisting the bejesus out of D and D like Disney has done with Star Wars. Well, that they're still trying to figure out how to, how to properly market it, right? How to get the most money out of it, or my own stubborn, arrogant notion that what I I make what I want the way I want, and that's just how it is. And there, I think that last statement is both the strength and the weakness, right? Because you gotta sometimes, maybe if you if you make something a hundred percent the way you want it, maybe it doesn't appeal to the masses. But maybe if it's ninety percent you, and ten percent, how do I bring people in? Maybe you do bring in the masses. I don't. I'm not an expert at this, but I think that that last line is what this all pivots on. In the end, I don't care what the primary, secondary, or tertiary causes were. The rise and fall of Vinger Santanis was probably inevitable. May central circle of life. Nature is healing. A light that burns twice as bright burns half as long. And I have burned so very, very brightly. And again, I find that much of Vinger's early work was right in my wheelhouse. And a lot of his later work, not so much in my wheelhouse, but that's just me. Okay? And it doesn't mean I couldn't appreciate the quality. It's just that I wasn't going to get the use out of it. 
six of one and a half dozen of the other. It was a lot of fun in the beginning, but now the financial struggles have made it not much fun at all. So I quit. Well, I'm giving my six six month notice. Assuming the primordial chaos kicks out our funds, one last project for the road. Praise the great ones. Before I forget, this Sunday's inappropriate characters is our final show. Send us off with a bang. And I've added some new backer rewards to Primordial Chaos. Um, so, yeah. Um, v is dropping out of the publishing aspect. I'm sure we'll still see him on social media. I'm sure we'll still see the occasional video. I'm also mourning the loss of inappropriate characters, uh, a show that I frequently watch, but was always subscribed to and was on my radar. And I would often be like, oh, you have to see the latest one. So I'm sorry to see that that's an era that's coming to an end. So I will um, leave a link to the initial blog post. I will leave a link to uh, these Kickstarter. Again, I, I am sorry to see him leaving the publishing aspect of this hobby. I think he he added more and uh, he, even if it wasn't always something that I would enjoy or go, I got to use for this, um, it, was, it was quality. And he put his heart into it. So, V, you'll be missed. Don't be a stranger. Uh, folks, on that note, as always, be safe, be well, God bless, roll those dice, roll them well. Back again tonight with the live stream, the Random Party Generator. So, be here or be square. Later, folks. <laughs>